Like, but in all seriousness, in the past week, I done had several patients coming in, finding out that they're HIV positive. So I'm, like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the doctor. Even though I don't have insurance, I could go to the clinic and get tested and tell them what's going on since it is down there. The day before I went, I had this sinking feeling in my spirit, like in my gut. I knew that I was gonna get bad news. All right, what's up with it, y'all? So look, man, I'm back again with another video and this is a very, very serious topic. But before we get into it, I have to start this out the right way by showing some love to my supporters. I just wanna tell y'all that I definitely do appreciate y'all for rocking with me the way that y'all do on a day-to-day -day consistent basis. And I also wanna tell y'all that I hope that everything is going the way that you want it to go in your life. And I'm wishing y'all nothing but the best in every aspect of your life. And I'm sending y'all nothing but peace, blessings, and prosperous energy your way and when i say this i'm only talking to my supporters those who reciprocate the same energy back to me and to those who say the same thing back to me in return now let's go ahead and get into this video because we got a lot to talk about and a lot to listen to so basically long story short i got two different videos from two different people about aids right and hiv and things like that Okay, it was a list that came out. Now, listen, I'm not here to argue. It's going to be people saying that the list was true. It was people saying that it wasn't true. All the other type of different stuff. Anywhere it go, it was a big eye-opener for a lot of different people. You know, Houston had a list that got released. And people saying it's public record. It's all the type of different shit said about it. But overall, we know AIDS is very prevalent in a lot of different places. And it's getting, in HIV as well, you know, it's getting out of hand. People are out here just going raw as they can go. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't funny, but damn, cuz, come on now. You got to put that cat down somewhere. Y'all over there throwing it all across the room. The dudes out here giving our community D. Women giving out the community cat, and then they wondering why they're coming back with all these different diseases. You got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. And a lot of times, they need to fold it up and put that thing down somewhere, man. But overall, you know, it's a lady that's going viral right now. She broke down about the whole HIV and AIDS situation that's going on in Houston. I don't know exactly what was said. I seen like a 10 second clip, but I have a full one minute clip of her speaking. And then the next lady, she was just basically detailing certain things about AIDS. She came up in the midst of this video with me trying to find this. So I wanna see what she got to say about the whole situation. And I really do commend her for coming out, being brave enough to speak about these situations, spread awareness and stuff like that also. Cause a lot of people are so ashamed that they'll go ahead and just be quiet about it and they just keep on spreading it and spreading it and spreading it without actually speaking on it and things like this. So let's get into all of these videos and see what the hell is going on with the situation. But I do want to know your personal opinions and please know your status and make sure that you can go ahead and get someone else's status as well. You know, like they say, just because just because you're only messing with them don't mean that they miss. Like they be saying, you know, just because you only mess with them don't mean that they ain't out here messing with other people. So you want to make sure that y'all know y'all status and things like that, you know. But let's get into the video. Y'all hit the like button because I'm dropping this consistent content. And that's all I ask y'all to do is just hit the like button. But let's go ahead and see what's up with this. And as y'all can see, I'm kind of out of it because I'm tired of all of this stuff happening. You know what I'm saying? In the word, the word is just so damn crazy. Let's go. Yeah, I know. I know y'all think life is a game. Like, but in all seriousness, in the past week, I done had several patients coming in finding out that they're HIV positive y'all keep making these posts and these jokes and it's not funny like this shit is ruining people's lives from the early 20s to even as old as 50 years old stop playing it's not funny it's not it's nothing funny about it Facts. and you want to know what's so crazy I seen a video of this gay dude on TikTok. He's a he's a, a viral dude bragging about how he just moved to Houston and he just met somebody, baby daddy, somebody trade, somebody thug, drug dealer, and he let him the shit out of him first night because he grown and all of that and he sent him on about his way. Y'all think this is funny? You know how many dominant men it is out here playing? Yes. It's not funny. Lady, strap up. Because these dudes is disgusting. Disgusting. Hold up, whoa, 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 hold the hell up. I got, hey, I rock with what she's saying and everything like that, but these women are as well because they are smashing men like it ain't nothing these days. They got four, five different side dudes. They out here going on these goddamn girl trips, popping that cat, messing with these men that they don't know nothing about. You know, it's, it's, it's that, it ain't just men, but I can definitely understand what she's trying to say because, you know, we have a stigma, you know, men for going out here doing certain things and stuff like that. But people just fail to realize that it's a lot of promiscuous women out here. They out here smashing and you know want it raw and just cutting the hell up you feel me but you know not 
speaking on that dude that she was just speaking about because I don't know him and I don't know what the hell was said. But overall, people do take this shit as a, as a game. They think it won't happen to them, and that's one of the worst things that you can feel like this shit can't happen to you because it can happen to anybody. So know your status, man. Put that cat down somewhere. Get to know somebody. Get a vibe. Get a good, you know, rapport with somebody before you get to popping that cat all across the room and shit. You feel me? But uh, yeah, she ain't lying though. Everybody is nasty. I'm gonna say everybody nasty. Not not it. Not y'all now. I'm not not us over here. But you know what I'm saying. It ain't just men, it's men and women. And I don't know what she's about to say. She might say that after this, but I just have to elaborate on that right there because there's a lot of people put men down when women out here doing the most. You know what I'm saying? It's well. Let's get back into the video though. How I found out that this I had This is the next baby. person. So at this point, I was already with my ex, the guy who affected me for about five months. The relationship was OD traumatic. I knew he was like not faithful to me, but I never thought that he was like not using protection with other women. At least I made myself believe that. At this point, I didn't have any more like symptoms. Like I already went through the acute stage where I felt like I was literally gonna. <clears throat> However, a couple of symptoms persisted even after that. That were a little bit more subtle, but just as alarming. The first thing that freaked me out really was that I would have a continual yeast infection. I know it's kind of gross, but it's the reality of HIV. And a continued yeast infection is called thrush. I'm not saying that everyone that has thrush has HIV, but thrush is part of the symptoms of having HIV. And you know, I'm from the hood or whatever, so there's like a little hood doctor. I didn't have insurance. Oh, I didn't have insurance at that time. And so, um, like anytime I needed the yeast infection, like medication mm -hmm. i would just go to the hood doctor so something that i forgot to mention is that the acute stage is basically the stage where you are most symptomatic but once you're done with that phase you are no longer symptomatic in like very overt ways but you still have certain symptoms that are very subtle like you have a lot of fatigue thrush like yeast infection like discharge the whole thing and the second thing that really freaked me out was the fact that it was literally painful to have intercourse Mm. And so at this point, I was taking clindamycin about like once every two weeks. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the doctor. Even though I don't have insurance, I'm going to go to the clinic and get tested and tell them what's going on since it is down there. The day before I went, I had this sinking feeling in my spirit, like in my gut. I knew that I was going to get bad news. So I show up to the clinic. I get tested. When you get tested, you know, you do the full panel, you only get results for your HIV, like rapid results, day of. Everything else you have to wait. Someone comes out and calls my number because they can't see your name. They say, sit me down and they just bring it to me like, you tested positive for HIV. My mm. world literally shattered into a million pieces. So that is how I found out that I was HIV positive. Damn, that's crazy as hell. I agree with you. If your spouse cheats on you, honestly, they don't care about your health or your well-being. Okay? Damn, they said something. I got to see what they said. My bad. Hold on. Okay, it says, that's why I would never forgive cheating nor condone it. If my man cheat on me, he has to go. I don't care how long we've been together. That's understandable, and that's easier said than done. A lot of people say they don't go no goddamn way. And if you do choose to go move on with somebody else, there's not a guarantee that you won't find somebody else who don't cheat now you might find somebody who, who might be 100 percent faithful you know i'm just saying that but don't never think that you know you're just gonna drop somebody and just go get a wonderful person because a lot of people these days ain't right you got to take your time with these folks man take your time with them i'm telling you people be put on these good ass facades and be fake as hell bro lame and weird and lying like a man just promiscuous just trash individuals just be lying bro it's crazy out here let's get back into it though with you. If your spouse cheats on you, honestly, they don't care about your health or your well-being overall. However, I did not get HIV from my ex because he cheated on me. I started getting symptoms one month after I met him. God damn. The reason that I brought up his infidelity is because I was not ready to accept that he intentionally infected me and was intentionally infecting other women with HIV. He was potent. By me not accepting that he was intentionally infecting other women with HIV, I was basically saying that I approved of his behavior. Even though I wasn't the one infecting other women with HIV, my inability to leave him literally made me an accomplice mm. to his behavior. For some reason, I wanted to believe that I was the only one that he infected. That I was somehow special in that way. I know it sounds all sorts of messed up. They do. I'm glad you said this shit here. My name is Bianca. I'm HIV positive and I talk about it. 
So how did I know that my ex intentionally infected me with HIV? Yeah, I know. For starters, I literally asked him, when was the last time you got tested? What were your test results? He literally lied to me in my face and said that the last time he got tested was a few months ago and that his panel came out completely clean. Lie so like here. The reason this was because when I met him and we hooked up, I was very, very drunk. And it just so happened that I myself had gotten tested the day before I met him. Mm, what so a coincidence. He lied to me blatantly when I asked him. God only knows when was the last time he got tested. If he's ever even gotten tested. I've gotten tested, excuse me. And number two, when I started getting really sick with my HIV early symptoms, mm -hmm. he was begging to see me. I didn't want to see him because I didn't know what was going on with me. I thought, you know, whatever I have could be contagious. Yeah. And he literally was like, babe, there is nothing that you can give me. I would love to see you to take care of you. Don't worry, you can't get me sick. I mean, I guess for once he didn't lie to me. Mm. I couldn't get him sick because he was already sick. The third reason that I know that it was intentional was because when I finally tested positive for HIV, I begged him to go to the doctor and he refused to go to the doctor. He refused to get medication. He refused to get any sort of help. So Just obviously nasty. this is something that he had been dealing with for only God knows how long. Just out here being a germ. Now look, I do really do. I say I do really do. I really do wish that people go ahead and get tested with the people that they're dealing with sometimes because you know people be lying and then people always say i want to see you my chart i want to see you my chart man people are on the internet making fake charts man you literally have to see it for yourself sometimes going to their account on their phones and things like that because seeing paperwork and shit like that bro don't be all the way 100 percent consistent but i definitely do hope that she's okay and everybody else that's out there dealing with this is okay you know know your status man get checked up if you have any type of feeling that something isn't right then go ahead and go get checked out you don't want to be sitting around and be dying you know what i'm saying or potentially be dying and losing the activity of your limbs and stuff like that over something that you could have easily went up and checked on you feel what i'm saying but overall man i want to know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation i do hate that so many people are out here dealing with this you know what i'm saying and then they're falling for the okie doke within when they're dealing with other people and what i mean by that is you know you're getting tricked don't never let nobody out here you know misguide you and make you Feel like you know something when really in all actuality you don't know what the hell is really going on you feel me i heard getting bamboos and stuff like that but hey look let me know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation you made it to the end of this video i definitely do appreciate y'all and i will holler at y'all later on another video and make sure you know your status man real talk but i'll holler at y'all later yeah i know i know y'all think life is a game like but in all seriousness in the past week i done had several patients coming in finding out that they're HIV positive. And y'all keep making these posts and these jokes and it's not funny. Like this shit is ruining people's lives from their early 20s to even as old as 50 years old. Stop playing. It's not funny. It's not, it's nothing funny about it. And you wanna know what's so crazy? I seen a video of this gay dude on TikTok. He's a he's a, a viral dude bragging about how he just moved to Houston and he just met somebody, baby daddy, somebody trade, somebody thug, drug dealer, and he let him the shit out of him first night because he grown and all of that and he sent them on about his way. Y'all think this is funny? You know how many download men it is out here playing? It's not funny. Ladies, strap up. Because these dudes is disgusting. Disgusting.